You're watching News 19 Daybreak with Dustin Lukey, Candace Price, and meteorologist Alyssa Triplett. Daybreak continues right now. Good morning and welcome back. Well, the local entertainment schedule is in something of an intermission or of sorts right now, but you can fill your home with music coming up uh, next week. A new PBS uh, Wisconsin documentary will feature GET's vocal point and we're happy to have VP director Ryan Stumpke is joining us remotely this morning uh, in this uh, new world we're living in to talk about Acapocalypse. Ryan, thanks for being with us. Uh, thanks so much for having me and, and trying this this thing out here. Yeah, yeah, this is this is kind of a uncharted territory for a lot of us. But uh, Acapocalypse, uh, it's it's an interesting title given the times we're seeing. But this, this I understand, was probably chosen before everything went down. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, my my buddy uh, Dennis Gephardt from Port Washington has been doing this festival, this Acapocalypse festival. He calls it uh, for the last. Oh man, uh, seven, eight years maybe, um, and it's just kind of blossomed, and, and it's just it's grown over the years. And just last year, um, he had the the awesome idea of bringing together some of the best acapella groups in the country, uh, and uh, this is where the the PBS kind of stepped in as well. Yeah, so it's going to be a new documentary coming out uh, early next week, both uh, on PBS Wisconsin and streaming services as well. So folks can uh, bring Vocal Point into their living room. Yeah, we're super excited about it. Um, the uh, the title of the the documentary is Acapocalypse, Acapella's new note, and um, it was really really awesome uh, that uh, PBS uh, was really interested in doing this a couple of years back. They they kind of scouted out. Uh, the festival, and uh, said, "Hey, we need to we need to to bring this to everybody." The, the documentary kind of talks about it and, and shows not only us on stage through that festival, um, but it, it PBS actually came into all of our high schools and um, walked around with us. Um, and basically, the idea is not only to uh, to show the viewers the performance, but also to show them um, what it's like to put some of this stuff together what it's like it, it, giving giving you the feeling of being a high school student uh being a director and and all the work and uh and time and dedication and passion that it takes um, to put some of these groups together so we're really excited about that yeah kind of gives you that inside look at how uh, uh acapella especially in, in a smaller school like get can can grow to be such a big thing and uh folks can see it again early next week on pbs wisconsin and streaming uh and i, I guess just for you what does it mean to have this at a time when this was supposed to be ramping up the competition season uh, yeah, actually, uh, I got a notification on my phone this morning that our, our plane was leaving uh, from O'Hare this morning. Uh, Boca Point uh, not only was competing this year, last week we would have been in the Paps Theater in Milwaukee performing for the semifinal round. And uh, this morning we would have been leaving from O'Hare to go to uh, Los Angeles to do a festival out there. And uh, it's been very, very tough, not only on uh, my students, but uh, myself. It's been hard to process everything uh, that's kind of been happening. Um, and so this is this 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 documentary um, couldn't be coming out at a better time, um, not only for myself, not only for my kids, but everybody else out there that kind of needs this, this uplifting kind of, uh, um, you know, it, it, we just need, we just need this right now. And, um, and yeah, it couldn't be coming out at a better time. Make sure uh, you all tune in uh, Monday. Actually, all the content will be available um, online. Uh, but it premieres uh, March 31st, 8 p.m. on PBS Wisconsin. Thanks so much, Dustin. Yes, we'll be tuning into that. And be well, Ryan. Yep, you too. Thanks so much. All right, Alyssa, over to you. Well, thanks, Dustin. And after the break, the weather may be giving us another reason to stay indoors and social distance, but there are going to be some times to get outdoors. I'll detail when.